Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason. This is your daily relaxation hypnosis session for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. So before we start, I'd like you to get yourself into a comfortable position, uh, whether it's lying down on a flat surface, comfortable one, uh, maybe it's a sofa or your bed, or maybe you decided to sit down in a chair, um, make sure it's a safe chair with sides, ideally so you, um, if you did fall asleep, you wouldn't fall off, you're secure. And allow yourself maybe 20 minutes or so of time for yourself to allow yourself to let go and have a break, you know, from the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle. So I'd like you to close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so. And Quite often, I'd start off by focusing on your body, getting in touch with how you physically feel right now. Um, but I think today I'm going to focus on your mind. Let's focus on your mind. Let's just ignore the body for now. Because, as we all know, everything is controlled in your mind so any feeling you have in your left foot is created in your mind not as a thought but as a an actual stimulation you know and but also as a thought because when I mentioned your left foot where did your focus go went to your left foot so everything comes from the mind pleasure all kinds of different pleasure whether it's intimate sexual uh, physical uh, whether it's just emotional you know it's it comes from the mind of course there's more going on than that, it's uh, outside triggers and stimuli and you know everything else and you know it all depends on what's going on around you and the situation you're in, the thoughts that you're experiencing. So I guess I'm just wondering what's going on in your mind right now. Maybe you're just thinking, what's this bloke talking about? Are you just waffling on about my mind? Maybe you're just thinking about something that you were thinking about before. Maybe there's something on your mind that's just been bugging you or pestering you or just you know, one of those things that just clings on and and your mind goes round and round in circles but no solution seems to come it's just a it seems to stay a problem nothing more than a problem and it then turns into discomfort I guess is a light word to use But what happens if you actually do take some time out and you allow yourself to just focus on your mind, you can realize the expanse of your mind, just how massive it really is. Because instead of focusing in on one thing, let's say the thing that maybe was on your mind previously that was maybe bugging you or worrying you or something that had your concern and your attention 
when you focus in on something like that, it sometimes feels and seems and looks bigger than it actually is. If you were in a satellite with a, or if you had a, a telescope and you were in a space station or something, you could focus down onto a double-decker bus or onto a car And if you didn't know better, you could say, oh, that's, that's what the planet is. It's a car. That is the planet. Because your telescope is so powerful. Maybe I saw you in the, the space station. Um, you're using the most powerful telescope in the world or in space. And you're focusing on the planet and you want to say, well, I want to see what's, what the planet is. I want to see what, what Earth is. What's in Earth. What's on the Earth. And you end up focusing on a Ford Cortina car. or on a rhinoceros, you know, you manage to go to a zoo where you see a gorilla or you see, you know, whatever it is. And you'd think, oh, that's what the, that's what the planet is. It's a gorilla, it's a rhinoceros, it's a Ford Cortina, it's a car or it's a double-decker bus, it's a letterbox. And that's what we do when it comes to things like worrying and concerns and uh, pain and suffering and all that stuff. When in fact, actually the suffering is a result of that. We have a tendency of focusing on one thing. And it's an amazing ability to be able to focus because after all, hypnosis is about focusing. So I'm not, um, down in the idea to be able to focus because it's a wonderful ability that we all experience and all possess. But to be able to pull back, not defocus, but just change the focus, pull back so you can actually see more than just that one thing. And if you were in space, you could change how the magnification of the telescope is to the point where you can see more things. So spatially, you can not just see the, the double-decker bus or the Ford car, but you can see the other cars near it maybe you can see the houses the trees as you pull back your focus you can see more and more so no longer would you think to yourself that the earth is a car in the same way as your brain your mind and your life is not just this issue this worry that you might have had this thing that might have been stressing you your mind is much more than that your life is way 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 more than one thought no matter how that thought may have affected you in the past your life is bigger than that your mind is absolutely massive I'm trying to think of a I suppose the only two comparisons really with the mind would be space you know infinity in a sense your mind creating thoughts like planets like stars creating continuously creating more 
ideas, more connections within your brain, improving your knowledge, improving your education continuously every day that you're alive, you learn more about the world, about yourself, and your brain grows, your mind expands. Whether you want it to or not, your mind is continuously growing. And you're continuously learning to deal with certain aspects of your life that you can deal with really easily. Just think about it. There are things now that you can deal with really easily that maybe 10 or 20 years ago or when you were a child seemed impossible to deal with. But now you can just deal with it quickly, precisely and effortlessly because you know that in the great scheme of things you know that those things are not all encompassing those thoughts those issues those problems do not define you as a person because your mind is bigger than that and this is something you can do with stress with anxiety, with panic attacks, with all the, you know, the reason why these sessions are made. Because your mind is too big for those things to have any control. From now on, you won't be able to allow stress to bully you the way it used to because that's all it is really in a sense if something is controlling your life or you feel like something is controlling your life in a negative way then that's bullying isn't it isn't that what we class as a bully something that makes us do or act or believe or experience or feel something that we dislike it's uncomfortable, that it hurts, it's painful. And thinking about that means you can change it. You realize with an expansive mind, an ever growing mind, that quite the opposite happens. Instead of that thing being so big, and all encompassing that issue being there like the only thing that you could see before now you have to really focus to find it because there's so much more space it's like you've just readjusted your mind the telescope maybe in your mind your perception just gradually instantly just finely tuned so that you experience your mind differently but not in a fake way or in a made up way but in a natural way in the way that your mind really is expansive huge full of wonderful things full of wonderful memories full of possibilities, creativity. You are creative. As a human being, your mind is one big creative bubble. Continuously creating ideas. Every time you have an idea, it's a creation. And you know when you create something, you also have the choice to destroy it as well if you choose. You can draw a picture, you've created it. But if you decide to rip the picture up and put it in the bin, you can. Because you know that you can draw another picture. 
Or maybe you've made a mistake and you want to do it again. Want to do another one. You can do that with your mind. So if there's something in your mind that's causing you distress, that's something you've created. You created that thought in your mind. So maybe you can create something else to take its place and get rid of that one. I wonder what it feels like as you experience your mind expanding. Noticing maybe for a second without really paying attention away from your mind, but just noticing that you notice in your peripheral Your body is now much more relaxed than it was before. Notice how easy that was. Not having to focus on any part of your body. But just allowing yourself to just be inside your mind. Without having to focus on anything. But just be in there. It's a healing experience. Just being with yourself, accepting yourself. can really give you something quite special. It's a gift. Because the best present, the best gift that you will ever receive is what you've had your whole life. Your mind. It's the most powerful thing in the world, your mind. And by trusting, by being kind to yourself, by allowing your mind to just relax and let go. You can transform your life and your future will be much happier than it would have been otherwise because you deserve to be happy because you're a wonderful person full of kindness and love you have the ability to not only transform your life but you can transform other people's lives just through being kind just through showing love just from being yourself going to come to the end of this session today. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling really relaxed. Really, really relaxed. It's as if my body and mind are just one, just one thing, just one piece of energy just sitting here and you know if there was any worries in my mind before I started this session 
they've completely disappeared. This feels really nice. I'm glad I was able to share this with you, this experience. I'm going to bring this session to an end. Of course, you can continue to sit here or lay down for as long as you choose. And of course, you can come back, listen to this session, however often you want to. It's going to stay on YouTube. And also the MP3 will be available on my SoundCloud podcast. You can gain access to both those on my website. So enjoy the rest of the day, feeling wonderful. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to three, you can open your eyes. You can just continue feel amazing. One, two, be more aware of your surroundings, how you feel, remembering that every time you hear my voice or see my face on a video, you can instantly and naturally relax and feel calm and your mind will open up to new possibilities that can transform your life. Three, open your eyes if you choose to do so. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.